Hello students, in this video we will solve specimen paper 3, it's a Cambridge IGCSE paper code 0625. A video from question number 1 to 6 has been uploaded already and in this video we will solve question from 7 to 12. So in this question, this figure shows a floating plastic ball attached by a long rope. to a weight on the bottom of a lake. A water wave on the surface of a lake causes the ball to move vertically up and down. Direction of travel of the water wave, this is the wave, this is a wave traveling in this direction toward right. And a rope is attached, this is a ball and this is a maximum height a ball can reach. So on this figure, show the wavelength of the wave, label the distance W. The horizontal distance between two adjacent crest or between two adjacent rows is known as the wavelength. So here we have marked the distance. Determine the amplitude of the wave. We know that amplitude is the maximum displacement from its mean position to extreme position. So the distance from its mean position. The mean position is shown by the dash line to the extreme position is 12 cm here. So the amplitude is 12. The ball reaches its maximum height 40 times in 60 seconds. Calculate the frequency of the wave. We know that frequency is defined as the number of oscillations of a wave per unit of time. Since the maximum height of ball is Crest of wave. So number of times the ball reaches its maximum height in one second is the frequency of wave here. So frequency is equal to 40 divided by 60. It is 0.67 hertz. Explain how the motion of the ball shows that the water wave is transverse. The direction of propagation of wave is perpendicular to the direction of vibration of ball. So this shows that the water wave is transverse. State another example of transverse wave. Electromagnetic waves are transverse in nature and infrared, ultraviolet are some examples of electromagnetic wave. A ray of light reflects as it travels from air into glass. Here the medium is air and here the medium is glass. State which angle WXYZ is the angle of refraction. Here Z is the angle of refraction. In this figure, this shows some wave fronts approaching a barrier with a narrow gap. So we have to draw three wave fronts that have passed through the gap. We have drawn here three wave fronts. When the waves pass through a narrow gap, the wave will be spread out. It shows a diffraction pattern. And in the diagram, the distance between the lines is the wavelength of the wave. And diffraction does not change the wavelength of the wave. So the gap between the wave front after diffraction will be the same as before the waves get diffracted. Figure shows some part of electromagnetic spectrum. Here this table. And one part of the electromagnetic spectrum is not labeled. State the name of this part. So after radio waves, it is microwave. Then infrared, visible, ultraviolet, x-rays and gamma rays. The speed of visible light waves in a vacuum is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second. State the value for the speed of infrared waves in the vacuum. We know that infrared waves are also part of electromagnetic spectrum and all electromagnetic waves travel at a speed of light. So its speed is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second. Some parts of the electromagnetic spectrum have a wavelength shorter than that of visible light. State one example. So it is infrared spectrum. As this spectrum is in increasing order of wavelength. So, infrared you can write here. X-rays and gamma rays are used in hospitals. Describe one medical use for X-rays and one medical use for the gamma rays. 
For x-rays, we can write that a medical x-ray produces a picture that can help find broken bones. And for gamma rays, we can write that gamma rays are used to kill cancer cells and shrink tumors in radiation therapy. State two reasons why gamma rays are dangerous to living things. Gamma rays can pass completely through the human body. As they pass through, they can cause ionization that damage tissues and DNA. And gamma rays can destroy living cells. This figure shows a simplified circuit diagram for an electric oven. The oven contains a fan driven by a motor. On this figure, circle the symbol representing the heater. Here, this symbol shows a heater. This is a fuse. This symbol shows lamp. This is for heater. This is for variable resistor. And this is for motor. Here, uh, don't get confused with the symbol between fuse and this is for resistor. This is a fixed resistor. And when you see an arrow across this symbol, this shows a variable resistor. This figure includes a variable resistor. Explain the function of the variable resistor in this circuit. Variable resistor shown here is a resistor of which electrical resistance can be changed. So the current in heater and output power of heater can be changed. The potential difference across the motor is 250 volt. The current in the motor is 2 ampere. Calculate the resistance of the motor. We know that resistance is equal to potential difference divided by current. So it is 125 ohm. State the name of the component X and explain how it contributes to the safety of the user. Name the component. Well, X is a fuse. This is a symbol for fuse. And how it contributes to the safety of the user. Fuse wire has low melting point and high conductivity. It is connected in series with the oven. It is connected in series with the circuit here. So whenever there is a high electric current, more heat will be produced and it leads to the melting of fuse wire. So the current cannot flow through the circuit. Hence further damage will be prevented and the appliances and user will be saved. The nucleic notation ZXA describes the nucleus of one type of atom. So here A is nucleon number, Z proton number and X is element symbol. Well A means Z number of proton plus number of neutrons. A radioactive isotope has a half-life of 6 years. A sample of this isotope has a mass of 12 mg. Calculate the mass of this isotope that remains in the sample after 18 years. Here we will apply this formula n is equal to n naught 1 by 2 to the power t divided by t half. Where n is quantity remaining and naught is initial quantity, t is elapsed time and t half represent half life of the substance. So here n naught is 12 mg, t 18 year and t half, half life of substance is 6 years. Put all the values in the formula, we can calculate n, here n is 1.5 mg. The sun is our nearest star. State the three main forms of electromagnetic radiation emitted by the sun. Ultraviolet, visible light and infrared. State the two main elements that are found in the sun, hydrogen and helium. State and explain what can be deduced from the redshift observed by astronomers in the light from all distant galaxies. So what is a redshift? In physics, a redshift is an increase in the wavelength and corresponding decrease in the frequency and photon energy of electromagnetic radiation such as light. So astronomer can deduce that the distant galaxy is receding or moving away from the Earth as the wavelength from distant galaxy is longer or shifted toward the red end of the spectrum. And astronomers also use redshift to measure approximate distances to very distant galaxies. The more distant an object, the more it will be redshifted.
Thank you very much for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe and don't forget to leave your comments. Thank you very much once again.